Hey guys, I'm Lauren Jane and I help creative entrepreneurs and artists learn how to create YouTube videos that are more captivating, getting more views, getting more subscribers, all sorts of awesome things. But first today we are going to talk about how to maximize your video output without spending all of your time. So seven tips on how to easily share your knowledge without getting caught up on the details. Stay tuned for more and uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you would like to stay, you know, in the know. Just waiting to be live. Oh, looks like I'm live. All right, guys. So um, I wanted to let you guys know some quick, easy, simple steps to going live, to making video content, to being able to share it from Facebook to YouTube, um, to make it where you can put out as much content as possible and share your knowledge and hopefully get clients, customers, you know, collectors, all those wonderful things, make some sales without spending all of your time creating videos. Um, so today I had a couple of things I needed to do and I just thought, let's make the most of it while we're at it. So I'm going to screen share with you. Hold on just a moment, share screen. Okay. So this is my notes. Like, first of all, we're going to just say, keep it simple. You don't have to do all the fancy, like, you know, a, a slideshow that's perfect. And that's, you know, you got your graphics and the font is perfect. Like just, I used here, this is a Google Word document. I just opened it up. I made some notes. And for the one that I did earlier, it was called Psychology of the Post. I shared it to my Art Biz Secrets group. I went live in the group there. And I just made some really quick notes of what I wanted to tell them. This both keeps me on point and it serves as being able to show them what we're talking about. It's just like when you're in school and someone on the blackboard writes down, here's what we're gonna talk about. You don't have to make this fancy, just get it done. And you might have to just write it on a piece of paper and hold it in front of you. Um, but here's, uh, of course, my messenger thing is going crazy. Let me see if I can downsize that. Perfect, okay. Um, all right, so seven tips on how to easily share your knowledge without getting caught up in the details. Keep it simple. Number two, use content you know. If you are teaching something that you're already an expert at, if I'm teaching how to make art or how to sell art, or how to do online marketing, all these things, you know, if you wanna learn how to be a Zen and how to, oh, I guess it'd be a Zen um, and do massage, like anything that I already know, I can teach on without really doing a whole lot of research and making a whole lot of notes. And I don't have to make a whole script because I already know the thing. I can kind of just, ad lib it. I can go off of a few bullet points and, you know, I might go on a little tangent here and there. It's not going to be perfect, but it's not always about being perfect. Sometimes it's about just getting the content out there and telling the people what you need to tell them and staying on track to some degree. So back on track here, uh, go live using zoom. So, you know, sometimes like right now I'm live, there's a little bit of pressure with that. And it's sometimes better than perfection because if I go and I film this, I'm probably going to do it about five times until I like it because, oh, I don't like how I said that, or I don't like, you know, oh, I looked over there. I don't know, some sort of weird thing. Um, I'm going to want to do it over and over and over, but sometimes it's best just to go live and just put it out there. And you know what, if it's a horrible catastrophe, you can delete it. You can always delete it, you know, just hit stop and, and it's over <laughs> and then delete. And hopefully only the few people that are actually on your live will know about it. Um, but honestly, just go live using Zoom. Uh, if you don't have a Zoom account nowadays in 2020, 2021 now, um, it is the world of Zoom. So uh, you can easily go live. I don't know if I can show you. Let me see. Um, I'm going to downsize that. I don't think I can show you while I'm in Zoom what you would see, but you go to the more button and you're going to, um, you're going to hit go live on Facebook. So on the bottom screen, there's all the, there's like share screen, there's uh, mute. There's a whole bunch of options on the bottom of Zoom. Hit the three little dots, hit the little more button, and it'll say go live on Facebook. And then you choose if you want to go live into a group or your personal page, you know, many other things. Um, so that is the easiest way. It records it. I automatically record my Zoom sessions. Uh, I don't know if I have it open here. I think, yeah. Okay. So when I got done with my recording, um, so what I, I did, let's, let's just start from the beginning. I did a post, where is it? Okay, so I did this post on Facebook and I was advertising, here's my art. And I did a whole big long, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I wanted to tell my artists, 
here's the psychology of why I wrote what I wrote. So not only am I advertising my art to hopefully get more potential art collectors um, to commission me for pieces or buy art, then I go into my art biz secrets where I teach them how I do what I was doing. Um, so then I'm here in the group and I say, um, the psychology strategies I'm using when I post about my art to lead to get to more clients and customers and sales. So I didn't take a long time to figure out what the video is about. I'm just basically saying, here it is. You know, like I didn't write a whole big long post on this because it's going to be in the video. I made my notes of what I wanted to tell them. You know, I reviewed my post. I said, okay, here's the different things that I put in it. So I'm, I have my lesson plan right here, easy and done. Um, and then I went into the group and actually recorded it. Now it's saved to Zoom. I, um, I have that in my, in my save files. And then if I want to add an intro, I can do that easily um, using, I mean, I use the Adobe Premiere Pro, but whatever editing program you're using, you just put the intro right before it. Um, so just go live using Zoom into Facebook. So now you are creating something that you can use for other platforms like YouTube or Instagram and something you can cut up and repurpose. Um, but you're also, you know, you're knocking one of the things out of the park, one of the knocking them out of the way, finishing it, whatever, uh, on Facebook. So next is use the camera you have. The camera that I have right here on this, this one, this computer is terrible. Um, but luckily in Zoom, you go to the settings, there's a little toggle, it looks like a gear, and then you go to video, and then it says touch up appearance, and it's like glamour shots, it's a little bit better, like, because if I don't have that button on, it's like, Ooh, you know, it's terrible. Um, I wanted to use this camera, and there is a way to do that. I couldn't find the cord today, and you know what, instead of wasting time trying to look for the cord, um, and there's also some software issues that if you've tried using a camera, using is it cam twist there's some some software things that are just like they drive you nuts and i've seen online like a lot of people get driven nuts by the same issue um if it's too hard just just be like nope toss it out you know don't actually toss the camera but <sighs> done is better than perfect so even if you have a camera that's not that great you know maybe you only have your phone just just use what you have and get get it done get the content out there um, as you grow, perfect it. Yeah, get better lighting, get a better camera, get you know higher quality. But sometimes it is more important just to get the message out there. Um, so uh, that is number five, done is better than perfect. Record your Zoom session, repurpose it for YouTube. Basically, I recovered that. And then um, and you can add the quick intro. There, I already did it, all seven. So I wrote this five minutes ago, if that. Um, and I knew that when I went live that I'd need a title and I would need the little about post. So I wrote that right in here, copy, paste. It's all about making it as quick and easy as possible. Um, and now I have gone live in this group. I'm going to stop the share. Um, so now that I have gone live in here, I've created yet another video that I can put onto YouTube teaching people how to use Facebook and how to use videos in a way that, you know, you can repurpose content and make it, you know, streamlined as possible. So I needed to do that post. I wanted to share, you know, here's my art, hopefully get more people who want to buy art. I wanted to help my artists and teach them how I'm doing the marketing strategy and the psychology behind what I'm saying. And now I'm helping you guys with how I'm helping them. <laughs> so it's very like, again, meta. If you saw my last video about this stuff, it's, it's very like meta, talking about, talking about, talking about. Um, so hope that helped. All of this can apply to whatever it is you're teaching. Maybe you're a health and fitness coach. So you might be actually teaching people how to, you know, actually coaching them how to lift the weights and stuff. So that's equivalent to me actually doing the art. Um, but then you're teaching people how to do it. So then you maybe have a Facebook group. Um, so same thing. You would go in there, tell them what you need to tell them, and then record it, put it on, on YouTube because you're gonna get a lot more potential leads through YouTube because it is a Google search engine. Um, it is, it's a way to bring in new people. You never know when your channel might blow up um, and it might be a slow, slow build, but one way or another, the more that you're putting out the content for people to be able to access you and your knowledge and get to know who you are, which is the greatest thing about video, you get such a better sense of who someone is. Um, 
the more chances that you have for more clients and customers, no matter what it is that you're, you're teaching or showing on these videos. So hope this helped and I'm going to keep it brief and uh, that's it. And now I'm going to get back to my other work because I don't have a whole lot of time. And that's the whole reason for this. <laughs> okay. Hope you guys are having a good one. Bye. If you like this video, maybe you want to check out this one or maybe this one or both. <laughs>